our to all our taxpayers. We are now here um, part two of the BIR Ghost Digital Webinar, where we will be giving you some inputs, information, and um, clarification on how to do your e-filing and e-payment of your ITRs, which will be a cost due this coming uh, June 15. And uh, for today, uh, our participants are all individuals, supposed to be in po yung ating schedule, uh, where we have our single proprietors, professionals, and freelancers, which we expect to be joining us now in our Zoom and our Facebook live streaming. So, the BIR, as uh, we have said, started um, already is digital transformation. And part of which, nag-start po tayo ngayon as an opportunity given also because of the COVID-19 that we have ex been experiencing. So for today, I will be the moderator of our seminar and I am Janet Cruz, the Head Revenue Executive Assistant of the Client Support Service of the BIR. We will be joined also by our Assistant Commissioner, Attorney Teresita Angeles, who will be answering some of the questions later, and also our Assistant Commissioner, Clavelina Bibi Nakar from the Collection Service. Of course, backed up also with us later to answer some questions are people from our um, Client Support Service Division and the Collection Service Divisions. So let's now move on to our webinar. This particular webinar is brought to you in partnership with uh, the USAID and the EPESO group. Now, bakit po tayo nakaisip ng ganitong webinar? Alam naman natin ngayon, with COVID around, hindi po pwede yung face-to-face -face encounter, hindi po kailangan natin social distancing. But at the same time, alam po natin as taxpayers, we have to comply with our obligation. And that is filing our income tax return and paying the taxes that may be due thereon. Which, of course, is coming, coming very, very, very soon already. And Jenna, no? Now, to help you, kailangan po natin na makakumply kayo. Our group actually have thought of this webinar where we hope na this will help you, no? ito pong mga information that we will be giving you in your compliance. At the same time, um, our topic, which is e-filing and e-payment, is actually of help kasi po, um, kung ano man yung matutunan ninyo dito, you can apply it on your filing and payment of taxes. So, it will be more convenient for you, our taxpayers, to comply with the filing and payment. At the same time, safe kay COVID at mas mabilis, faster po yung pag-comply ninyo. Uh, ganun din po, um, of course, the BIR have to collect kasi we need to support, we need to fund yung pong ating mga projects under the Bayanihan Act to heal as one. And you, our taxpayer, when you do your obligation of filing and payment, syempre, tayo po ay kasama dun sa mga bayani. No? Bayani na tumutulong sa ating bayan, sa ating mga kababayan in fighting for this COVID pandemic. But at the same time, we are also helping each other. Kasi whatever naman po yung binabayad natin, of course, it goes back to us in terms of services being given by our government. So now, the webinar is being given to you as we go with BIR, goes digital. So for now, let's start now with our seminar. To welcome each one of us in this webinar, we have, of course, a very lucky because um, he's very supportive no, of all the taxpayers endeavor, taxpayer assistance and services, the projects that we have. So, swerte natin kasi may, nandito po siya to join us. None other than our Deputy Commissioner for Operations Group, Arnel S.D. Gobalia. Good morning, Sir Arnel. 
Uh, good morning, Janet, and uh, good morning to Asir Tess, Asir Baby Nagar, and our other revenue officials who are here in this webinar. So, shall I, ako ba ang opening remarks, Janet? Yes, sir. It's your time na po sa so, ating... To our participants of this uh, webinar, I think this is the part two, I would like to say that... Uh, uh, service excellence through innovation is guided by integrity and professionalism. It's always been the heart of the BIR operations. We recognize that uh, we should not settle for anything less than excellence because our mandate to collect taxes from citizens so that public goods and services rendered. Uh, it is important that we continue to improve our tax administration services, a key factor in enhancing fiscal performance and advancing the ease of doing business in our country. Uh, the BIR is also constantly introducing innovations to make compliance easier for taxpayers and to give taxpayers more options. BIR, of course, has the electric EFPS for large taxpayers. We have the electronic BIR forms, EBIR forms, which was developed primarily to provide taxpayers with an alternative mode of preparing and filing tax returns that is easier and more convenient. Taxpayers can also avail of the services of the tax software providers whose forms have been certified under the electronic tax software uh, how do you call that? The ETSP certificate system, an online system where tax software provided can apply to have their filing and payment software tested and certified. Then in terms of payment options, taxpayer can opt to pay online via the payment of gateways of land bank, BBP, Union Bank, as well as the mobile wallets, Paymaya, and GCash. So as we slowly transition out of the enhanced community quarantine, it is becoming more apparent that the new, the better normal is digital. Hence, we need to adapt and use the digital options for filing and payment that we already have. Uh, through this webinar, we aim to equip you with the knowledge to use these platforms to your convenience and competitive advantage. So in behalf of our development partner, the USAID, and then the E-PESO, uh, I welcome you all to this webinar. Maraming salamat po at uh, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Thank you very much, Sir Arnel. Ayan na, ito na po yung bago ngayon, yung new normal, no? And BIR, yes. as said ni Sir Arnel, eh, sumusunod po tayo doon sa new normal. We're going digital na ngayon. And in fact, di ba sir, yung ating mga projects ngayon, puro digital, digital at online, online na. Yes, actually, our new project, the BIR now, is as mandated by DOF, we will be yan, taxing the, ano, the online digital ano. Uh, transactions. So we will be coming, the BIR will be coming with the uh, with that in the soonest time. Ayan. So meron kayong dagdag na chismis. Actually, update kay Sir Arnel. No? Uh, new direction of the BIR is to focus on the online business, of course. It's actually still part naman din po nung train law natin na provision which is was effective 2018. Sir Alner, maraming salamat po for the welcoming our participants in this webinar part 2, BIR Goes okay. Digital. Yes, Janet, uh, maraming salamat din sa inyo and uh, it's really a good uh, uh, discussion on this webinar. So magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Okay, thank you, sir. So now, we will have to move on with our uh, uh, rules po sa ating uh, how we will have to go about our webinar para po maging maayos, magkaintindihan, marinig po lahat ng mga participants natin yung ating pong mga pag-uusapan ngayon. Because this is a very rare 
uh, opportunity no, for, for our taxpayers to be given this particular information on the e-filing and e-payment and latest at that, some of the alternate e-filing and e-payment modes that you can avail of. And of course, yung very recent po natin na EAFS. So, first, ano po ba yung kailangan natin? Automatic naman daw po lahat ngayon ng mga participants naka- ang naka ano po disabled ang inyong uh, microphone and your uh, video. However, kung naiwan kayo, just a reminder, mag uh, mute lang po at wag po muna makay makabijo para po maliwanag po maririnig lahat ng sasabihin ng ating mga resource speakers. So, kung mayroon po kayong questions, if you have questions while this discussion is ongoing, uh, we have our Q&A icon, nakikita nyo po dyan sa inyong screen, where you can lodge your questions. Now, uh, these questions po na ating sasagutin will be on the first come, first serve basis. So, yung pong maiiwanan dyan, uh, we will have to collate all of them and answer it. Then, we will be posting po yung questions and the answers ating pong Facebook. At the same time, uh, we'll be looking at it kung pwede po natin ma-send yung questions kung ma-identify no na natin for, para po maipadala sa respective emails ng ating participants. Now, um, at the end of the program, meron po tayong time for the Q&A to be answered. It's 5 to 15 minutes kasi limited lang po tayo ngayon. In fact, ang speakers po natin are given only 5 minutes within which to talk about the, their particular topic that was given to them. Now, uh, since naka-zoom po tayo, limited lang po yung pwede pumasok, hindi po lahat ma-accommodate, we also are in simultaneous live streaming sa Facebook. So, yung po mga nasa Facebook, good morning po sa inyo and hopefully na nag-enjoy naman po kayo sa panonood ninyo sa ating pong, uh, webinar for today. So, live po tayo sa Facebook for those of you who were not able to log in to our Zoom meeting today, you can move po, lipat po kayo sa et ating BIR Facebook, naka-live streaming po tayo. So you can also join us. And then, of course, at the end, all those who have been able to log in po sa ating Zoom will be provided a certificate. This e certificate would be sent through your email address, which you have already given us when you do your pre registration on this seminar. So, I guess that's it. Yan po yung mga house rules natin. And since okay na ang house rules, we can now move on to our webinar. Ready na po tayo. So, we'll now have our first topic, which of course is how to e file. Now, our, e -file, our first topic, which is how to e-file, of course, we have the different uh, BIR e-filing forms. Uh, it will be discussed with you by our section chief from the Taxpayer Service Project Monitoring Division. Ang haba ko kasi ng division name nila. And she is the section chief of the forms design and review section. Siya po yung mga nakakaalam sa mga forms natin. Uh, pag may problema po sa forms, siya din po yung ating uh, tinatawagan. At siya din po yung nag-head ng mga nag design ng mga forms. So, you will be seeing for those of you who have been part of um, some consultations on forms design, si Ms. Ami po will be ma makakasama niya po siya sa mga meetings niyo. So, let's now have our... A discussion on how to e-file to be led, of course, by Ms. Amelia Dacumos, Section Chief of Forms Design and Review Section of TSPMD. Good morning, Ms. Amy. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am Janet. Uh, good morning to everyone. Since ang haba po ng name ko, tawagin niyo na lang po akong Ami. I am the Section Chief of Forms Design and Review Section of Taxpayer Service Programs and Monitoring Division of the BIR. Nabanggit na po yung kanina ni Ma'am Janet. And I am one of the staff of Ma'am Janet. Okay, let's start. I was tasked to talk about the filing and payment of annual income tax return of individual taxpayers. So who are the individual taxpayers? 
they are the employees, whether private or government employees, professionals who practice their profession like lawyers, accountants, doctors, etc. Single proprietor or those who own a business, then mixed income earner or those who are employed and at the same time engage in business or practice a profession. Then we have also estates and then the trust. Slide please. So what are the annual income tax returns for the individual taxpayers? We have three annual income tax returns. First is the 1700. The income tax return for individuals earning purely compensation income or what we call employees. The January 2018 version of the return is available in the BIR website and EBIR forms, but not yet in EFPS. The users of this return are employees who are not covered by substituted filing or those with two or more employers in a year. Slide, please. Second return is the 1701, which is the income tax return for the individuals earning purely from business or practice of profession, or the source of income is only from the business or profession. The January 2018 version of the return is available in the BAR website and EBAR forms, but not yet in EFPS. Next slide, please. The user of 1701 are individual taxpayers engaged in business or practice of profession and the method of deduction used is optional standard deduction or those engaged in business or practice of profession and opted to avail of the 8% flat income tax rate. Next slide, please. The third return is the 1701, which is the income tax return for mixed income earners, estates, and trusts. The January 2018 version of the return is available in the BAR website and EBIR forms, but not yet in EFPS. Next slide, please. The users of 1701 are individuals with business or practice of profession only, and the method of deduction used is itemized deductions or individuals who are mixed income earner or estates or trust. Slide, please. For taxpayer who are not sure what form to be used, you can refer to this slide. If purely business or practice of profession and income tax rate availed is 8%, use 1701A. If graduated, then use 1701. If purely business or practice of profession and the method of deduction used is OSD, use 1701A. If itemized, then use 1701. If mixed income earner, no need to be confused because you will be surely using 1701. Next slide, please. Now, let's go to the guidelines in filing of annual income tax return for RMC number 42-2020. We have three kinds of filers of annual income tax return. First, the manual filers. They shall use the colored preprint to return blue for 1700, red for 1701, and maroon for 1701A. Available in the district offices or the downloadable return in the BIR website or use the offline EBR forms package V7.6 in filling out the return. Slide, please. Manual filer who will use the preprinted return sure, shall manually fill out all the apl applicable fields in the return. And if with tax due or payment, go to any authorized agent banks or AIBs, notwithstanding RDO jurisdiction, or to the revenue collection officer or RCO of the nearest RDO. You can read our MC number 56-2020 for more details about payment. Slide, please. Manual filer who will use the downloadable return in the BIR website shall download first the return from the quick links BIR forms, income tax return section of the BIR website. Then print the return in the legal or folio size paper and manually fill out all the applicable fields in the return. And if with tax due or payment, go to any AABs notwithstanding RDO jurisdiction or to the RCO, the nearest RDO. Slide, please. Manual filer who will use the offline EBIR forms package B. 7.6 shall download first the package from the BIR website, then install and run the package to the desktop computer or laptop. 
a pan-opening shall create a profile by providing the information needed, especially a valid and active email address. Slide, please. Then choose the BIR form number from the list of forms, either 1700B2018 or 1701A or 1701B2018. Please take note of the B2018 for 1700 and 1701 to ensure that you are using the latest version of the return. Accomplish the return, click Validate button, and then after validation, click the Submit Final bot Copy button to submit the return online and shall be required to agree to the Terms of Service Agreement or TOSA. Slide, please. Taxpayers shall receive a system-generated email confirmation or tax return receipt confirmation that the BAR received the submitted return to the email address provided in the profile page. And if with tax due or payment, print the return in the legal or folio size paper and go to any AABs notwithstanding RDO jurisdiction or to the RCO of the nearest RDO. But for the safety of all and to stop the spread of COVID-19, we encourage taxpayers to use e-filing and e-payment facilities of the BIR. And that is the reason for this webinar. To inform and disseminate to the taxpayers about the BIR's online facilities. The electronic or online filing of the BIR are the EBIR forms in the EFPS facilities, while the electronic or online payment is EFPS also and the EPAY facility. Slide, please. So, if with tax due or payment, taxpayer may pay online through the EPAY facility of the BIR, which are mobile payment through GCAS or PayMaya, Land Bank of the Philippines, LinkBiz portal, slide please. Development Bank of the Philippines Tax Online and Union Bank Online Web and Mobile Payments Facility. These online payments or ePay facility will be discussed in details by the next speakers. Slide, please. The next filer are the EFPS filers who shall use the offline EBIR forms package B7.6 since the January 2018 version of 1700, 1701A, and 1700 are not yet available in EFPS. EFPS users or filers shall not use the old version, June 2013, or existing return in the EFPS since there are a big difference between the old return and the new return. First is the income tax rates and then there are no personal exemption and additional exemption in the new return. So the tax due that will be computed by the old form will surely be not correct. That's all and thank you for your participation in this webinar. Thank you very much, Ms. Ami. There you are. Binigay ni Ms. Ami sa inyo. What are the different forms for individuals po tayo ngayon ha? Baka yung ibang corporation naghahanap kayo. Tapos na po kayo. Last June 8 po, diniscuss ni Ms. Ami yung for the corporate returns naman. So for now, we have, as uh, said by Ms. Ami, mayroon pong three uh, filings or returns for individuals that you, you have to use. 1700 1701 and 1701A. O hindi po lahat yan gagamitin. Sinabi ni Ami, kailan gagamitin ng 1700, sino ang gagamit ng 1701, and then sino po ang gagamit ng 1701A. At the same time, sinabi din po, there are three ways by which you can do your filing. Una, manual. Kung gusto niyo po mamasyal, ay hindi po mamasyal. Gusto po na sumagap ng COVID sa labas. <laughs> you, you can do your manual filing. But pinagaan po natin, we should RMC 42 2020 and uh, just to add lang po, 56 2020, nireiterate lang po yan, na you can file and pay in the RDO's nearest you. Hindi niyo po pong kailangan pumunta kung saan kayong RDO registered. Kung may babayaran nearest AAB or RCO, doon po sa kapitbahay ninyo, mayroong RCO, pwede po nung magbayad. Not necessarily na pupunta po kayo kung sino yung RCO na designated sa inyo. So that's first one, manual. But, as we said, dahil po gusto natin, BIR goes digital, may e-filing po tayo. So we have the EFPS and of course the EBIR form which is the latest po natin, package 7.6. So maraming salamat Ms. Ami for those information. Thank you ma'am. Oh, sige, nakafile na kayo. Meron na po ko, nag-prepare na. Pero may tax due, kailangan magbayad. So how do we go about now your payment of taxes that is due? At uh, dahil po, 
technology dictates ngayon na puro online, online na, what we will do is we will be sharing with you the different e-payment partners of the BIR with regard to your payment of taxes. So first in our list, of course, we have yung pong kilalang kilala na Land Bank of the Philippines. Lahat pong halos dyan po nagbabayad karamihan, lalo na mga nasa government at nagtatransak sa government. So we have with us Ms. Sharon F. Santos Abarintos, the DBA Head and Electronic Pay of the Electronic Payment Unit of Land Bank of the Philippines to discuss their e-payment facility. Ms. Sharon, good morning. Thank you, Ma'am Janet. Oh, Ms. Sharon. Morning. Yes, Ma'am. Uh, ang very popular na sa mga government yung link bis. So yung bang link bis na yan, pang government lang ba siya? Pwede din sa mga private natin, lalo na yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayon ng mga individual taxpayers natin. Yes, Ma'am. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Once again, I'm Sharon Santos Abarintos from the Electronic Payment Unit and my privilege to represent Land Bank of the Philippines to present two of our e-banking channels, the Land Bank LinkBase portal and the electronic tax payment system. Next slide, please. In support to the implementation of RA number 8792, more known as e-commerce app of 2000 and the ease of doing business program of the government, Land Bank launched the Land Bank Link Biz Portal. This is an e-payment facility that allows our clients to pay for products and services via the internet for both government and private institutions. Next, please. Land Bank Link Biz Portal is available seven days a week, including holidays, except during our system maintenance schedule. You may access it in various ways. The first is via our LinkBiz portal website, which is https colon double slash www.lbp-eservices.com slash egps slash portal slash index.jsp. You may also access our link via the homepage of the Land Bank official website at www.landbank.com and you will be redirected to the Land Bank Linkbiz portal page. You can also access it via the merchant's website. So you have to go to BIR website to access the Linkbiz portal. And lastly, you may also access our link by going to our Land Bank mobile banking application. Just click the link for Land Bank Linkbiz portal and you will already be able to pay your BIR transactions. Next slide, please. As to our payment options, we have three current available right now. One is the Land Bank ATM Visa debit cards. Then next, we also have the BankNet member banks ATM debit cards and also other bank debit cards via PayGate. And currently, we have three banks available, RCBC, Robinsons, and Union Bank. Soon, we will also be launching other payment options such as cash, credit cards, and Globe G Cash. Next slide, please. So how do we go about paying via LinkBiz portal? So the taxpayer will simply access our LinkBiz portal website, choose the payment option he wishes to make use for the transaction, and then follow the screens to complete all the remaining transactions. So let's see it screen by screen by having Land Bank as one of our example. Next slide, please. So all you have to do is to access our link this portal page, click the pay now button, and then go to the merchants, select Bureau of Internal Revenue, then click continue. Choose tax payment as your payment field payment type, then input the necessary transaction details. Next slide, please. So there you have it. You will have to input your respective amount, your TIN, your branch code, 
your form type, your tax type, return period, and don't forget your email address for your email notification. Then you may now select here as your payment option, land bank, and then input your account number. Don't forget to input also the CAPTCHA and hit continue to proceed with our transaction. Next slide, please. You will be prompted the payment details and you will now be asked to get your ATM pin authentication, which will be sent to your email. Next slide, please. It comes in alphanumeric characters, which will expire in five minutes. Next slide, please. So input the one-time password, then input also your personal identification number or your PIN and the joint account indicator or the JI, which is usually found in your card, usually defaulted at zero, then hit the submit button. Next slide, please. You will now be prompted the summary, which is your confirmation receipt, informing you that your account has been successfully debited and you already can print, you have the option to print and save your confirmation receipt. Simultaneously, next slide please, you will also receive an email notification showing all the details of your transaction. That's it for using your land bank account as payment option. On the upcoming slides, which almost the same function, but this time we will be choosing another payment option, which is PayGate. So again, go to our webpage, click Pay button, then select Bureau of Internal Revenue, then click continue and select tax payment. Next slide, please. So input all the information and then select their other banks via pay gate. Don't forget to input your CAPTCHA to proceed with your transaction. This slide shows you that this is now the online banking page of RCBC and this will vary depending on the banks that you have selected. So you follow your own online banking transaction procedures and at the last transaction, you will be receiving a payment confirmation from Land Bank. So almost the same procedures for any type of payment options. It only varies as to your convenience on which available payment option that you have. So that's it for our land bank language portal, and we will now proceed to electronic tax payment system for all enrolled accounts. Next slide, please. Before we can go for ETPS or electronic tax payment system, you will have to do e-filing with BIR via EFPS. So the taxpayer will have to access BIR website and will be redirected to land bank website. Next slide, please. Then it will go back again to BIR website and back to you as a taxpayer. So let's proceed to the step-by-step -step procedure. Next slide, please. Under EFPS, you will have to do your BIR filing. So ensure that you have selected the reference number. Then click proceed to commence your transaction. So all information will be auto-populated. The most important here is you choose your authorized agent bank, which is Land Bank, and then enter the amount to be paid. Click Submit button. Next slide, please. And you will now be asked to enter your valid account number, select the date, and again, click Submit button. Next slide, please. Okay, once you have entered the information, you will now have to use, to enter your user ID and your password to authenticate the transaction. Then please click again the submit button. Next slide, please. So there you have it. You will already be prompted your confirmation receipt informing you that your account has been successfully debited with the following details which have been auto-populated from your account. This confirmation receipt 
gives you the privilege to print it for your reference and also keep it as your proof of transaction. So there you have it for our electronic tax payment system. Ma'am Janet, we have just presented to you our Land Bank Linguist portal as well as our electronic tax payment system. And to our dear payers, we encourage you to make use of these facilities for fast, safe, and secure and convenient access right at the doorstep of your home at the click of your at the click of your fingertips. Thank you and good morning. Okay, hey, salamat po, Ms. Sharon, for explaining to us what Link This is all about. And of course, uh, to our dear taxpayers, yung po is one of your options when you do your uh, payment of your taxes. But again, this is one option. Meron pa po tayong mga kasunod na other options. So let's see. Next in our discussion would be yung pong mga latest ngayon no, na mga nagpapanood niyo po sa TV, yung mga nag-i-introduce ng kanilang mga digital-digital way of doing your banking. And uh, here with us this morning is Ms. Nicole Rana Feliciana, the Vice President of the Disper and Disbursement Head of Union Bank to give us um, information on how to go about their digital e-payment, banking, transactions, and other products in relation to uh, digitalization of our uh, financial transactions. Good morning, Ms. Nicole. Hi, good morning, I'm Janet. Um, thank uh -huh. you for your kind introduction. Um, hello, everyone, um, and thanks for giving me an opportunity to explain um, how our Union Bank um, um, app and how our, how we can do um, PR and through Union Bank. Um, actually, tama kayo, no? Um, si Union Bank nanguna po tayo sa uh, digitization uh, kasi we started our digital transformation early on, uh, a few years back. And um, nalo na ngayon uh, sa panahon ng COVID, uh, napaka-importante na kaya nating uh, i-continue yung pagbayad, um, pagdo ng mga transactions even without going to the bank. So, even at the comfort of our own homes. Um, actually, uh, during this COVID nga po, napansin namin na um, marami kaming tumaas or yung digital banking customers namin, no, tumaas ng 400% since the start of ECQ. Yet, uh, we invested heavily in technology and um, security para mapinigurado na yung growing customer base namin is kaya pa rin naming um, ma-service at we can still provide safe and reliable um, systems. Um, so to talk about the Union Bank um, process of e-payment, uh, you only need to have a Union Bank app or website. So if you already have an account, you can just download it in your Google Store or App Store, and you can already log in and um, proceed to pay. Uh, sobrang dali lang po ng process. Uh, Pagka-log in nyo, actually, hahanapin nyo lang yung pay bills sa ilalim. Tapos, ita-type nyo lang Bureau of Internal Revenue. Pagka-select ng BIR, hihingin lang po yung mga tax details na kailangan natin. So, normally, ang mga hinihingi is uh, may mga TIN, tax type, form type. Um, at yun nga po, uh, based on those information, pagka-submit nyo, pipili lang kayo kung anong account, kung gusto, anong bayad. Tapos, pagka-submit, um, tapos na po. Magkakaroon po yun ng Union Bank Reference Number na pwede nyo pong gamitin as proof of payment. Um, yun po, uh, it, yun nga, napakadali, um, sobrang daling gamitin sa app. And um, if wala pa po kayong app or if wala pa kayong account, hindi rin po siya magiging issue. Kasi we've been um, encouraging uh, our digital account opening feature in Union Bank. Uh, ang kagandahan po ng digital account opening feature hindi na po tayo kailangan pumunta sa banko para mag-open ng account. Kasi meron po tayong digital KYC wherein pagka open nyo po ng app, uh, magsiselfie lang po kayo, uh, picture nyo yung ID nyo, tapos maglagay ng mga personal information. Uh, pagkakuha ng personal information na yun, uh, meron na po tayong account. At yung account po namin, meron po tayong mga no maintaining balance na features. Um, so, yun. Um, and actually, uh, when you open an account, so we can do BIR payment, this one. Pero marami po po tayong pwedeng paggamitan ng app natin. 
Uh, we have fund transfers um, with PesoNet, which is free. Yung BIR uh, payment po, free rin po pala. Uh, we also have InstaPay, uh, which is waived uh, yung fee ngayong um, quarantine period po. No? Uh, we also have uh, a new uh, mga unique features like remote check deposit. Uh, yun po, pag remote check deposit, ang gagawin nyo lang, pipicturan nyo lang, madedeposit na sa account. Again, hindi na rin kailangang pumunta sa banko. Um, and uh, usual bills payment. And uh, yung isa pang magandang feature din po is um, payment to remittance centers. So kung ang papadala ninyo, wala pa pong account sa kahit anong banko, pwede po tayo magpadala sa mga remittance centers na hindi na pumipila sa mga remittance centers na yun. Pinafund transfer lang din po natin yung remittance center kasi ilalagyan ng uh, pay details. So yun, uh, marami po talagang features um, yung Union Bank account. So kung wala pa po kayong account at kailangan nyo po magbayad ng taxes um, ngayong June 15, um, tax period, one very easy and convenient way to do so is through Union Bank. Um, kasi nga po, at the end of the day, kami sa Union Bank, gusto po talaga namin maging convenient, hassle-free, at simple, sim, simple uh, at seamless yung um, user experience ng mga gumagamit ng app namin. Actually, we're very thankful nga po for BIR Kasi sila din po, they're finding ways to digitize and to allow um, tax payments. Um, para din po yung pagbayad ng buwis, yung obligasyon nating um, taong bayan, kaya po natin gawin, pero hindi pa rin, hindi na po tayo kailangang um, mahirapan. So, yun. Um, yun lang po. Thanks again for having me here. Um, thank you, Janet. And um, pleasant uh, good morning to everyone. Maraming salamat, Ms. Nicole. Ayan po, isa sa mga private banks po natin, but of course, helping us out in this particular promotion of the digital payments that we do para po makatulong sa mga taxpayers natin. Oh, second option na po ninyo yan. Now, the third option po natin for your e-payment is also a government bank. Actually, um, mag ay, magkalaban ba sila? Nauna. <laughs> so they're both government bank, one of our GFIs, and of course, helping also the Filipinos in terms of, uh, you know, nagpapautang din po para mga, sa mga businesses, like also yung nauna po natin sa London. At the same time, um, this particular bank is also helping us. They, they are also our partner on the e-payment facilities that the BIR is offering our taxpayers for them to pay their taxes. So, this morning, we will be joined by the head of the Cash Management and Transaction Banking Department uh, of the Development Bank of the Philippines. So may I call in now Mr. Ricardo Joseph Vandal II. Sabi niya ang haba ng pangalan niya. Last, uh, the other day, sabi niya po, tawagin ko na lang daw po siya ng June. So, good morning po, Sir June. Good morning, Ma'am Janet. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining this webinar. So, malayo yung picture ko. Yung picture ko rito na nakapost that I think 10 years ago yata ito. Mahaba pa buho ko rito. No? Anyway, so, uh, yeah, uh, yes, I'm from the Development Bank of the Philippines. Uh, we're also a government financial institution. Now, part ng mandate of the DBP is the uh, DBP is the build, build, build partner of the national government. So, build, 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 it's not just brick and mortar. Kasama rin dyan, DBP, building the financial payments infrastructure of the country. Well, we're helping in that part. Next slide, please. Next slide. Okay. So, alam naman natin may problema tayo ngayon. No? We're still, we're facing a very, very uh, monumental challenge right now. So, kasama na dyan ngayon, how do we adjust, how do we adapt, and how do we go on with our lives? No? So, we meron tayo tinatawag na new normal. So, this is the new normal. So, papasok kayo dyan. This is the best time really to push for or emphasize yung uh, essence and importance of technology. Okay, so how do we make uh, the most of our online chance under the new normal? As far as our obligations are concerned, ito na po yun, no? So online payment channels, we're providing part of the infrastructure payment na ginagawa ni DBP would be the online or electronic payment to 
uh, your obligations to the government, nadyan na po yung taxes, and also our social contributions to pag-ibig, PLL, and SSS. So for now, I'll focus on the BIR. So next slide, please. Okay. So I understand our attendees today would be the individual uh, paying uh, taxpayers. No? So uh, binanggit kanina yung electronic filing via the EBIR form. So, so after you do your electronic filing through the EBIR forms, the next part, before kasi ang setup natin, pagtapos natin mag online filing, over the counter pa rin ang payment natin. So ngayon, hindi naman kailangan na mag over the counter payment. You can do your electronic payment after your electronic filing. That's the ePay uh, facility of BIR where DBP is also uh, supporting and participating. So again, yung tagli sinasabi natin, no need to fall in line, pay your taxes online. Next slide, please. Okay, for the e-payment uh, facility, no? again, for uh, individuals, no enrollment necessary. So you can just use, basta meron kang, ano, no? meron kang card for payment, you can already proceed to payment. Important lang, I have to emphasize, and uh, uh, uulitin ko ulit, no? Before you can do your e-payment, you first should have completed your e-filing. Kasi pagka wala kang na-e-file, uh, wala po tayong i-e-pay. So after e-filing through the EBIR forms, paulit-ulit ako ang kulit ko, kasi we have experienced a lot of uh, issues before na nagbayad siya online, wala naman pala na-e-file online. No? So nagkakaroon ngayon ng discrepancies. Okay? So e-filing e first, then e-payment. So right now we're using uh, Visa cards although uh, malapit na no inaayos lang namin together with our partnership with uh, with Paymaya yung other card payments like Mastercard, Banknet and JCB. Okay. So for uh, e-payment you can access it in two ways. Next slide please. Okay. So you can either go to the BIR website and then click on the ePay logo. Ayan po, nakikita natin yung ePay logo diyan. Pag na-select nyo po yung ePay logo, actually lahat po kami nagsasalita ngayon dito, makikita nyo po yung mga logos namin doon. No? So you select on the Development Bank of the Philippines there. Or alternatively, you can just key in directly sa browser ninyo, https colon slash slash www.dbppaytax.com Pwede rin po sa Google, itype nyo lang po ron, dbppaytax, lalabas na po siya doon. You just click on that uh, uh, site okay? para lumabas na po siya. Again, uulitin ko ulit. Before you do the e-payment, you should have filed successfully via the EBR forms your tax form that you will be doing the payment. Next slide, please. Okay. So you can pay or you can electronically pay your electronically filed tax form in three easy steps. Step one, you key in your tax details. Basic na basic po yan. Yung TIN, tax form, tax type, RDO amount, okay? and then the covered period. After you have done that, then step two, letter A, you fill in all of the required taxpayer information. Next slide, please. Part pa rin na step two, lalabas ngayon niyo yung payment niyo. You can use any of, sa ngayon, Visa cards, no? any of the Visa, uh, Visa uh, branded cards, you can use that for payment. Okay? No enrollment is necessary, just need your card. Confirm all of the information there. After ma-confirm na tama lahat yan, you can click on proceed to payment and then key in your card details in the payment page. Next slide, please. Step three. Once uh, we receive con successful confirmation from your credit card issuer of a successful payment, then you will receive your confirmation. So you can print that Oh, and also, alternatively, you can have you know, an email. You will receive an email confirmation of the same payment details in your registered uh, email address. Kasi part of the information that you uh, in encode mo kanino yan. Okay. So that's three easy steps. Confirm payment and then get the confirmation. So ano benefits nito? Okay. Because you're doing everything online. Hindi ka na lumalabas ng bahay, hindi ka lumalabas ng opisina. So it's efficient, it's also convenient. Plus, it's safe. No? Uh, stay at home nga as much as possible. Okay? Nandiyan pa rin yung virus. Kahit na anong CQ, CQ tayo. No? E, G, uh, M, may M pa sa dulo sa unahan. Still, may virus pa rin. So, you stay at home as much as we can. And these are the services that we're providing you. So, it's efficient and convenient. 
is easy to access. It's available in all the common browsers right now. No? Uh, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Safari. So it can run either laptop, tablet, mobile phone for as long as you have internet access in that device, you would be able to access this for payment. And it's secure. We are using 256-bit encryption, so it's one of the highest encryptions available. It's a very, very secure facility. So those are the benefits. And at the same time, no, uh, we are also supporting the government's call to stay at home as much as we can. That's all for DBP. Thank you very much. Again, part of our tagline, we build possibilities. These are one of those possibilities now for electronic payments. Thank you very much, Ms. Janet. Thank you, thank you everybody. Hey, thank you very much, po, Sir June, for that clarification no, sa DBP. Yung inyo pong uh, talagang build, 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 no? We build possibilities. Not only possibilities, you also build din lahat, no? You, you help in building lahat yung mga projects na government through your assistance, no? Doon po sa mga uh, suppliers, contractors na ito ng mga government natin. At the same time, supporting the BIR sa aming digital move, which of course, nandyan po yung inyong e-payment facilities which includes payment through credit card. So parang yun yung napansin ko na difference dun sa mga nauna. Yung sa inyo is more merong emphasis on the use of credit cards. So maraming salamat po, Sir Jun. Thank you. Okay, so uh, nauna na po yung mga e-payment uh, facilities natin for the three banks. We have Land Bank, we have uh, Union Bank, and DPP. Ayan na. May sequence yan, para walang selosan. <laughs> okay. Now, yun po, eh, nagbabayad tayo sa banko. May mga e-payment. But aside from these banks, mayroon din po tayong mga partners na hindi naman po sila banko, but they are into e-payment likewise. So, ito po yung mga facilities nila for payment na available din po sa BIR now. And kung muli, ito po ngayon ang mga ginagamit pagka rin tayo mga bumibili. No? Hindi, hindi lang sa pagbayad ng taxes po natin sila pwede gamitin, but also in, in some purchases that we do for our personal use. Now, together with our three banks that have their e-payment facilities, we also have the other two providers of the e-payment um, uh, portals. So, una po, we have from, of course, uh, from Paymaya. No? We are joined, we will be joined in by Ms. Zara Katrina Lakaya, Government Acquiring Head of Paymaya, and will be giving us also uh, some information and tips on how to use Paymaya in our e-payment. Good morning po, Ms. Zara. Hi, Ma'am Janet. Thank you po. Good morning po sa lahat ng nanonood ngayon sa atin. I hope that everyone is safe and well. Again po, I am Zara from Paymaya Philippines, Handling Acquiring for Government Sector. Thank you for this opportunity to share with you how we can help the individual taxpayers pay income taxes online, especially as we are in the bids of the COVID-19 pandemic. So, um, I'll start now with my presentation. Um, if we can move to the next slides, please. Okay, next slide. Next slide. So, Paymaya Philippines po, is a leading financial technology company offering a wide range of payment solutions for merchants and consumers. Um, I am proud to say po, that our solutions are made by Filipinos. In 2018, our parent company, Voyager Innovations, raised the biggest tech investment to date in the Philippines at $215 million. Joining PLDT as our shareholders are KKR, Tencent, and IFC of the World Bank. Because our investors are confident and are one with us in our vision to provide inclusive digital finance to every Filipino, they have pledged an additional $120 million investment in the company just, just last March. Next slide. So Paymaya po has three main lines of businesses. The e-wallet, which is your mobile um, wallet account that you can use for a wide range of financial transactions. Nabanggit po ni Ma'am Janet earlier that you can use your Paymaya e-wallet to send money, pay bills, buy load, and do shopping. We also have our acquiring business that enables businesses of different sizes 
including the government, to accept different forms of payments, both online and offline. We are actually the biggest online acquirer, processing over 60% of e-commerce payments in the Philippines. Last but not the least, our Smart Padala is the largest domestic remittance network with 30,000 Padala agents nationwide. Next slide. So other highlights on Paymaya, we are a BSP-regulated non-bank financial institution with license to operate as an electronic money issuer and remittance agent. We are the only non-bank issuing and acquiring principal partner of Visa, MasterCard, JCB, and BankNet. We are a member of InstaPay and PesoNet, and we are certified compliant with global security standards for card payments. Next slide. So earlier, I mentioned that we are the largest online acquirer in the Philippines. This is because we are partnered with the biggest merchants in the e-commerce space, <coughs> such as Lazada, Grab, Cebu Pacific, and Zalora. We also dominate other key industries, such as food service, retail, transport, and fuel, and pharma. Next slide. Um, so Paymaya po is also a trusted partner of the government. We have been very active in engaging with government agencies, GOCCs, and LGUs to support their initiatives to go digital in line with the e-commerce and ease of, business, ease of doing business acts. And now with the proposed um, Better Normal Bill. We have partnerships with over 30 government entities, and we expect this to expand further as we transition into the new normal. Next slide. Next slide. Okay, so this is how we envision Paymaya to be a vital part of how you do your business and financial transactions, which includes paying your taxes. So as a professional freelancer or sole proprietor, a convenient way to receive or accept payments is through your Paymaya account. Your customers can send payments to your Paymaya via InstaPay or PesoNet or through their own Paymaya accounts. If you deal with overseas clients and use PayPal, you can also easily link this to your Paymaya. When your Paymaya account is funded, you can pay your income taxes through the bills payment section in the Paymaya app. But as Sir June mentioned earlier and reminded everyone, um, make sure po that you e-file po muna before you do your e-payments. Um, we will show a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Paymaya app shortly. Aside from receiving payments, there are many other ways to add money to your Paymaya account. We have more than 50,000 add money touch points nationwide. Um, you can go to the nearest 7-Eleven or Smart Padala agent to top up your account. Or you can even add money without going out by using your debit or credit card or through your online banking account. For more information, you may visit our Facebook page or website at www.paymaya.com. I'd also like to mention that right now we're also studying how to activate um, our 30,000 Smart Padilla centers um, to enable them to accept um, tax payments as well. Next slide. Paymaya is also working with DBP and OneTax to help you with your taxes from online filing to payment. With this end-to-end -end solution, you also have the option to pay using your credit or debit card or Paymaya account. Okay, so um, I will end my presentation with a short video on how to pay your taxes using the Paymaya app. Kailangan nyo bang magbayad ng buwis sa BIR? Ngayon, di na kailangang pumila dahil pwede nang magbayad ng tax payments anytime, anywhere gamit ang inyong Paymaya app. At coming soon, magkakaroon na rin ng option na magbayad sa BIR website gamit ang inyong Paymaya account o kahit anong debit o credit card. Para makapagbayad ng tax contributions gamit ang Paymaya app, mag-login sa inyong account, Pay 
bills. Piliin ang BIR mula sa listahan ng billers. I-enter ang inyong TIN at branch code. Piliin ang inyong RDO code, form series, form type, kung saan yun nais matanggap ang resibo. I-verify ang mga detalye ng inyong payment at i-tap ang pay. Makatatanggap kayo ng confirmation sa app, sa text message, at sa email na successful ang inyong transaction. Para sa mas madali at mas mabilis na BIR tax payments, don't pay cash. PayMaya! Download the PayMaya app for free. So there you have it, po. Um, that ends my presentation for PayMaya. Okay, that's it, Ms. Zara. Maraming salamat po. O, isa po yan sa mga options ng pagbabayad po ninyo ng inyong mga taxes, no? And I think uh, doon sa mga millennials, sa mga bata, sana yung sila dyan na gumamit nitong mga mode of uh, payments na to. So thank you very much for giving us the house to do and go about uh, the PayMaya facility. Now another, of course, for this morning, kumpleto po tayo, meron po tayong PayMaya. So meron din po siyang katapat, meron din po siyang classmate dito sa particular industry na to. And we have with us Ms. Charlene May Halcon, the product manager of GCash, of course, to discuss with us naman how to go about GCash as a way of doing your payment of taxes. Good morning, Ms. Charlene. Magandang umaga po. Hello, good morning, Mom Janet. Uh, magandang umaga rin. Um, so first of all, no, we want to thank BIR for inviting GCash to share with our taxpayers today on um, how they can use GCash and how we can help them in settling or paying their tax payments online or just through the app. Okay, so for this session, we wanted to focus lang on how we can help our partners on the solutions that we provide and also on how we have expanded accessibility for our customers. So once again, I am Charlene Halpon from the in-apps payment team of GCash. So next slide, please. Uh, okay, so first, um, we know or we have been aware that for the past three months um, during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, a lot of Filipinos have actually resorted or have been trying to shift to digital payments. And within the past three months, we saw a spike in the registration and the creation of new accounts under GCash. So with that, it's evident that people, more and more people are actually um, uh, willing to try and are trusting um, these um, e-payment providers or e-payment platforms such as GCash. So we want to leverage on that increasing adoption rate. And ka, katumbas nun, we want to help our partners in eliminating or decreasing their manual processes. We want to help them improve their collection rates. Um, because there are still a lot of manual reconciliation, manual operations. So we want to help them digitize everything. And one of the important sectors that we have identified is helping our government agencies. And one is BIR. So next slide, please. So we've actually been partners with BIR um, way back since 2017. So if you've been a GCash user since then, you can see that um, BIR has been our partner and we've been accepting tax payments for BIR. So before we proceed with how to pay your BIR tax payment, 
um, in GCash, we want to brief you first or we want to share with you first or educate you on how you can actually start using your GCash account. So if you are a GCash user, new GCash user, or if you're just new to using GCash, um, we have actually expanded our cash in network or our cash in points nationwide to more than 35,000 already. So um, we have already also diversified our options so that all our market segments will be covered because we know that not all users of GCash have bank accounts. Siyempre, paano naman sila mag, um, mag-cash in, di ba? Or gagamit ng GCash. So we want, especially our um, focus is really to help the unbanked Filipinos. So we are focused on increasing our accessibility or increasing our over-the-counter network. So you can cash in to your GCash account um, through 7-Eleven, through Pure Gold. And if you have a relative then overseas, you can also cash in through um, PayPal, Western Union, MoneyGram. So there are a lot of options um, made available to our customers so that they can already start using GCash because we know that this is the initial touch point and we want these to be a seamless, seamless experience. So now, once you have um, funds in your account, how do you cash in to or how do you now proceed to paying your um, BIR tax or but BIR payment dues with GCash? So it's pretty simple. So similar to the other partners or other agencies who have presented, it's you log into GCash app, you select pay bills, select government, and select BIR. Um, so now um, what I wanted to share with you is that BIR payments on the app on the GCash app, we don't charge service fees yet. So um, you can enjoy paying your BIR taxes um, free of service charge. Another thing is that um, we commit to posting your BIR payments within um, three business days. So one of the features that we want to highlight, we want to help you in building your digital payment behavior is our save biller function. So when you make a payment to BIR and you intend to pay again using GCash, you don't have to go through the hassle of inputting all the information once again. So you can just um, go to pay bills and then select save biller or add your biller and select BIR from the list. And then you will just, um, you just have to input all the relevant information for your BIR payment. And our app will ask you when you want to be reminded of your payment so that the next time that you have to make your payment, our app will just notify you or it's just a push notification on the app so that you won't miss any payment. So this is our way of helping our customers have a better um, user experience when paying through GCash. So I hope I was able to share with you um, and increase your awareness on using GCash so that you don't have to go outside and be worried that you haven't made your payment yet. So just download the GCash app. It's on Play Store. It's on App Store. And um, you can uh, now use it for your BIR payment. Uh, so that's all. Miss Janet, thank you once again. Thank you very much, Ms. Shirlien, so for giving us, uh, well, an, an update on so far as how our taxpayers would be able to pay through GCash. So moving on, na kompleto na po natin, no? We already have our five uh, available e-payment facilities para po maka, mag, maging faster, con, more convenient, at mas safe po no yung pagbabayad ninyo ng taxes ninyo you all you have to do is choose ano po dito sa mga options na to ang pwede ninyo magamit for your uh, with the payment of your taxes that will be due this coming June 15 na po yung ating deadline pa paalala lang po okay now um, while we have the e filing which is, of course, BIR po yan. You have the EFPS and EBIR forms, all BIR. And 
Of course, we have our e-payment facilities, which we have shared with you a while ago. Ito pong mga actions that you do when you do the e-filing and you do the e-payment. Um, tayo po as taxpayer mismo, ikaw mismo yung nagpa-file, ikaw mismo yung nagbabayad. No? Now, we, there, there is now a, a new way by which you can actually have another way by which you can do your e-filing and your payment. And what that would be with the help of our ETSPs. Okay, kanina nabanggit ni Depcom Gubalian yung ETSP. It's our electronic tax software providers po yaan na e-certified ng BIR. So we, we, we have this particular program na nakipag-partner po kami sa mga developers na gustong tumulong po not only sa BIR but also in the industry where they belong which is of course those in business. So in, in some cases, nagkakaproblema din po tayo sa mga activities, schedule natin. So meron po ngayon alternative way na kung hindi nyo kaya kayo mismo ang mag-e-file or mag-e-pay or mag-determine kung ano ba o magkano ba yung dapat babayaran ninyo, meron pong pwedeng tumulong sa inyo. And this is allowed under the BIR because we have them certified. Now we call them ETSPs. This morning, we invited one of the certified ETSP of the BIR so they can provide us paano ba tumatakbo itong um, uh, particular ETSP na sinasabi, no? Ano yung services that they do for us para mas convenient sa atin as taxpayers ito pong pagkukomply sa BIR. So with us now is the CEO of One Tax to discuss yung pong kanilang uh, company and of course how to go about itong uh, assistance on the e-filing and e-payment. We have Mr. Marvin Galang joining us this morning. Mo Good morning, Marvin. Good morning, Ma'am Janet. Can you hear me? Yeah, ma 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 maayos naman po. Good morning po. Uh, good morning din po sa, ati sa lahat, sa ating pong panelists, sa participants. Uh, sa ating viewers sa Facebook Live, uh, magandang magandang umaga po. I hope everyone is safe and well. Uh, I know there's a temptation to go back, uh, to go out, uh, to go back to our sense of uh, normal, especially before we are locked down. Sa amin po, sa mga accountants, I know I'm an accountant by profession. I know most of us are out trying to help our taxpayers uh, tax compliance, no? particularly those dun sa may requirement for an audited financial statements uh, kasi kailangan tapusin yung trabaho. Uh, but I hope uh, they're, they're safe and well. We have to remember we're still in the middle of this crisis and ensuring the safety of everyone, our families, our employees is still our top priority. At the same time, ito pong pandemic na to has caused our collections to drop. 25% uh, from January to April uh, this year compared to last year. And then actually, yung malaki yung April, 63% in the month of April alone if we compare it to our collections, uh, tax collections of April of 2019. I think this is the reason why this webinar is very timely and critical at this point as we prepare for the new normal as previously mentioned by our prior speakers, uh, also to provide a safe, fast, and easy way to electronically file and pay our taxes as uh, shown to us kanina uh, at the comforts of our home. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, digital transformation po na ito has been in the BIR stop priority since uh, 2016. Uh, which led to several sections din po sa ating chain law ng 2018. Uh, the programs and projects are outlined in the five-year strategic plan issued by the BIR last year sa RMO 21-2019. Makikita po natin yan doon. And a big part of this is to empower third-party service providers and encourage uh, them to come up with solutions to fast-track this transformation. Makikita po natin yung mga projects na yan na na-launch noong 2019 and one of that is the ETSP certification program as mentioned by our moderator kanina uh, during her introduction. Last year po, April 2019, OneTax was certified 
by the BIR as one of the ETSP provider. Next slide. Uh, pagpasok po nitong quarantine together with our partner payment providers, uh, Paymaya, uh, Clearing Banks at DBP, we presented a solution to the BIR to help facilitate ito pong tax filing and payment uh, electronically. Ito po yung one tax uh, fast file, uh, specific for tax filing of income tax forms. Sa individuals po, ito pong 1700 or 1700 form, 1701, 1701, and 1701A, 1701A. Uh, and para po sa mga non-individuals, i-recap ko lang, na-discuss po ito noong Monday, 1702RT and 1702EX. Ang goal po nito is end-to-end -end, uh, solution, filing and payment in one platform. Pag meron pong tax due, straight na po siya sa payment. Pag wala namang tax due, uh, filed na po siya. No? And uh, the goal is hopefully to also mitigate the risk of data entry. Uh, fast and uh, easy and anywhere po, kahit saan po tayo, as long as we're safe. Paano po ito gumagana? How does this work? Can we go to the next slide, please? All right, so yung end-to-end -end experience is from the registration itself, doon na po siya. Uh, we, incur we, we hope you have your 2303 with you, certificate of registration, enter your user credentials, uh, and at the same time, the data of the taxpayer. The says step two po is you complete the form. Step three is you file and pay, again, if there is a tax due. Kung wala naman po, filing lang. And then step four is we the tax confirmation from the BIR and the payment confirmation uh, should also show up in the platform as well as in your email. Next slide po. Can we play this video? Ngayong panahon ng pandemya, hinihikayat ng BIR ang mga taxpayers na obserbahan ang mga hakbang sa kaligtasan, tulad ng social distancing, pagsusuot ng protective gear, at ang madalas na paghuhugas ng kamay habang isinasakatuparan ang mga tax obligations. Ang pag-file at pay ng taxes online ang pinakamabisang solusyon. Mabuti na lamang at may tatlong paraan para gawin ito online. Para sa One Tax Fast File, sundin ang mga ito. Iset up ang iyong taxpayer account. at punan o i-fill up ang iyong tax form. I-file at bayaran ng tax form diretso sa BIR. Ganun lang kabilis at kadali. One Tax Fast File. Dahil sa mga ito, maaaring maging tax compliant mula sa kaligtasan at kaginawaan ng iyong tahanan. One Tax. Tax done right. slide po. So, syempre, part of the solution, uh, it will not be complete unless there's support. So, we provide the underlying support po dun sa program uh, through our uh, chat and email uh, email support po. There will be instances where probably a phone call might be required. So, we have uh, the discretion for that and we will hop on a phone call uh, with our users po. Next slide. Syempre, we're committed for, for the training. Um, uh, of our taxpayers or users, we've conducted over 150 webinars. In fact, since the start of the uh, of the crisis uh, and the lockdowns, uh, since March 2020, po, together with our partner associations, uh, both endemic to our profession and non-endemic, as well as special interest groups, uh, national and regional. Next slide, po. At the same time, ito po yung schedule natin for training. We still have time leading to June 14 or June 15 tax deadlines for individuals. You can check out our training uh, events, uh, one.tax forward slash events. Next slide po. And of course, we're committed to continuously improve the platform as we engage our existing users. Uh, we continuously get their feedback uh, from our partners and users. To end po, uh, we believe in one tax, we're all swimming in some unprecedented waves and it's hard for us to see the end in sight no? unless somebody can predict 
uh, we can invest in that. Our business communities, government, and global community are all swimming, trying to survive, finding ways to lead amidst this crisis. Uh, in tax, probably we're in the advent of new tax schemes, such as digital tax and internet tax. No? How we succeed and get out of this crisis uh, will depend on the level of integration and collaboration among those that are swimming in it. This product is a result of the collaboration between the government, payment providers, and private sectors uh, in partnership with Baymaya, DBP, and the BIR. Uh, I hope again everyone is uh, safe and well and uh, good morning po sa lahat. Thank you again, Ma'am Janet, for inviting us. Thank you very much, Marvin, for sharing with us yung technology that you have in your group. And as I've said, the, this ETS piece, they are also posted at the BIR website if you want to take a look at them. Available po yung uh, ETSP icon. Pwede po ninyong tignan kung ano po yung pwede information that you can get from them. So there you are. Kompleto na po yung ating e-filing, e-payment, and then we provided you also with alternate way of doing your e-filing and payment through our ETSPs. However, filing ITR, and paying the taxes is just not it, no? Meron pa po tayong ibang dapat gawin. And that is, of course, we have our financial statements dun po sa mga nasa business. At the same time, yung iba naman po may mga withholding tax returns po or withholding tax certificates that needs to be submitted, no? Together with the ITRs, meron po tayong sinasabing mga attachments to the ITR. Now, normally, Doon po sa normal natin dati, ang ginagawa po natin, if we file po natin electronic ang returns, and then, yun pong mga attachments such as your financial statement, statement of management responsibility, yung mga CPA certificate, mga withholding tax certificate, summary alpha of withholding tax, and others po na ina-attach po natin are submitted separately. Actually, sa ngayon po, if you intend to manually file itong attachment na to, pwede po siya until June 30. However, dahil BIR goes digital, we want you uh, to give you convenience, make it faster at safety from COVID. The BIR actually have developed po a new system which we call electronic submission or electronic Audited Financial Statement System, or simply EAFS. Now, that EAFS has been launched already by BIR, and it's already available in our website. Meron pong icon doon na you just click on, meron mga user guide, may other information. Pero kung ayaw niyo pong makinig doon at kayo ay nandito ngayon, ipoprovide po namin sa inyo sa mas madali no, paraan Paano po ba itong EAFS? At ano ba itong EAFS? So, to give us that and answer my question, we will be guided by our Revenue Officer from RDO 38, Mr. Amel Gundayao. Oh, good morning, AJ. Good morning, uh, Good morning, everybody. Uh, Ngayon po ni Ma'am Ami, saka ni Sir Jun, Revenue Officer 1 Assessment, an examiner from RDO 38 North Quezon City. And I'm a member of the team that developed and monitors the rollout of our newest system. And as appointed po by Assistant Commissioner Baby Nakar and H. Rea, Attorney Sayong Padilla, ako din daw po yung official mascot ng newest system natin. So... <laughs> Also, for credit, of course, to the rest of the team and our provider, EZY Corporation. They made this system possible and pinagsagaan nila yung mga tanong namin when we were developing the system. Pinagsagaan, tsaka minadali talaga para humabol, ano? Yes, ma'am. Weeks and developed and rolled out in a matter of weeks. So, Ang galing natin. Ang galing yes, ng BIR. With the yes, help, of course, ng ating provider. Yes, ma'am. Opo. Okay. So, ipakita mo na sa kanila kung gaano tayo kagaling by showing them how to go about and use this EAFS. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. 
Ayan, ma'am. Yes. So, uh, I am excited to introduce to you the newest addition to the BAR's repertoire of online services. A service that finally completes the circle in the online ITR submission process. From dating purely manual, nagkaroon ng pira-pira sung online. And ngayon, because of our new system, fully online na po ang ating ITR submission process. Now, we have online filing through EFPS and EBAR forms. We have e-payment through our AABs and online payment partners. And now nga po, the electronic portal for submission of duly filed ITRs, financial statements, and the required attachments. The EAFS. Now, what is the EAFS? Okay po. Pursuant to RMC 49-2020, the EAFS provides an additional option to taxpayers, aside from having to physically go to the BIR, to have their ITRs AFS manually stamped and received. Submissions made using the EAFS portal is just the same as making it in person. Kung ano po yung pinas, pinapasa nila dati, dinadalan na sa BIR para patatakan, ipareceive. Pag sinamit po nila ng EAFS yon parehas sa parehas lang po yun. Now, who can use the EAFS? All taxpayers who are otherwise required to submit in hard copy their ITR with attachments may use the EAFS instead. These include taxpayers claiming tax credits, taxpayers not required to have their financial statements audited, and taxpayers not qualified for substituted filing, among others. As long as your ITR has a corresponding attachment, you are required to submit said ITR with attachment in hard copy and therefore, you can use the EAFS instead. Now, how do I access the EAFS? The EAFS may be accessed through any browser of any device with reasonable specifications, desktops, smartphones, tablets, as long as your device has A, access to a browser, B, a stable internet connection, and C, access to the local files to be uploaded, you can use the EAFS. The EAFS can be accessed by clicking the EAFS icon at the BIR website at www.bir.gov.ph. Now, how do I use the EAFS? For first-time users, enrollment is required. Enrollment can be made by clicking the Not Registered link at the EAFS login page. Simply provide all the required information and click Submit. Few pointers to remember when enrolling though, okay? Any TIN or taxpayer identification number can be enrolled as a company TIN only once. Again, any TIN can only be enrolled as a company TIN once. However, any TIN can be enrolled multiple times as an authorized representative's TIN. Also, any particular ad email address can only be enrolled once, either as a company email or as a representative's email. So authorized representatives will need to have a unique email address for each and every company they will represent and another one for their own enrollment. Again, any particular email address can only be enrolled once, either as a company or representative's email. So kung authorized representative ka, kung gano'ng karaming company you represent mo, gano'ng karami ding email address ang dapat na meron ka plus another one for your own enrollment. Now, for companies who will be doing their own submission, yung hindi mag engage ng services ng authorized representative, they can just copy their information and use it as authorized representative's details. You cannot leave the required spaces blank. So if you'll be doing your own submission, just use your company information as authorized representative's detail. Usernames can only be enrolled once. The system will prompt you if your preferred username has already been enrolled by a different user. You will then be required to provide a new username. For the passwords to be enrolled, password policies are provided as a guide. Lastly, and this is very important, there is no edit mechanism if there are errors in your enrolled information. So be careful in the data that you input before clicking submit. Again, no edit mechanism, so be careful in the data that you input before clicking submit. When you click Submit, the statement of undertaking will appear, and you will need to click Accept to proceed with your enrollment. 
you will then receive an email with an activation link in the address that you enrolled. You will need to click on the activation link within 72 hours to activate your account. Once you activate your account through the activation link, an account activation successful page will acknowledge your activation. And that's it. You are enrolled with the EAFS and may use it to submit your ITR AFS. Now, how do I submit files using the EAFS? To submit files uh, on the EAFS login page, provide your username and password and click Login. In the left pane, click File Upload. There are three types of files that can be uploaded. The income tax return, the audited financial statements, and the other attachments. The RMC provides in detail the definition of these file types. Files to be attached must be in a valid PDF format. In the Excel, in the Word, in the JPEG, in the PNG. It must be in PDF. With a file size not exceeding 4.8 GB per file. Not per upload, but per file. Or a maximum of almost 35 Gigabyte per upload, kasi seven input boxes po yan. Provided, of course, that your internet can accommodate that file size. Now, you must also observe the, the naming convention as required in the RMC. However, para padaliin, the required file names are already provided in the file upload page. It is customized for every user, and all you need to do is to copy and use the required name on the file to be uploaded. Note that the files will be encrypted. Okay, this is very important. You will not be able to view it to view it after submission. So ensure that the files are exactly what you want to submit. Again, isa pa, files will be encrypted and you will not be able to view it after submissions. So ensure that the files are exactly what you want to submit. Okay, once you have attached all the desired files, click submit. The statement of undertaking will appear and you will need to click accept to proceed with your submission. After successfully uploading your files, a file upload confirmation page will appear with your transaction code and date and time of your submission. You may take a screenshot of this as proof of your submission. You will also receive an email containing the files that you have uploaded and indicating whether these are valid or invalid files. Okay, once you submit, mo na, you will also receive an email containing the files that you have uploaded and indicating whether these are valid and invalid files. It will also indicate the transaction code and date and time of your submission. Okay? And you're done. What would otherwise require you to leave the comfort and safety of your homes and offices just to have your ITRs, AFS physically received by the BIR is accomplished without even taking a single step outside. If it seems simple and easier than what you're used to when dealing with the BIR, don't worry. We purposely labored in ensuring a simple user interface for ease of use. Okay, now, after submitting through the EAFS, do I still need to submit my ITR AFS and have it stamped and received by the BIR? The answer, no. There is no need for you to have your ITR AFS stamped and received by the BIR after submitting through the EAFS. The email confirmation you receive shall serve as proof of submission to the BIR of the files marked as valid in lieu of the manually stamped receive. When you go to the BAR and physically submit your ITR and the AFS and its, and its attachments, there is also no need to have your two extra copies submitted for stamping to the BAR for SEC compliance purposes in the case of our non-individual taxpayers. The email confirmation shall also serve for this purpose. Simply print the email confirmation and attach to the financial statements that you will be submitting to the SEC. Now, for any other questions or concerns, including the resetting of passwords, you can contact your RDO, refer to the RMC, or the user guide. That's it. Thank you and keep safe. Hey, thank you very much. Well said, Amel, AJ. <laughs> well said, AJ. Oh, and dali dali lang po ng ano, EAFS, no? Para lang kayong uh, kumikit, nagpindot pindot, at ayan na siya. Kaya lang, Again, medyo mahigpit siya. Bawal magkamali. Pinaka-emphasize po ni AJ, no? Kaya siguraduhin mabuti po yung ating pong i-attach sa ating mga income tax return at isasubmit po ninyo through our electronic audited financial statement system. So, 
kumpleto na po yung ating discussion for today. We have already yung pong ating um, e-filing, filing modes, payment modes, particularly the e-payment modes. And of course, we have our alternate e-filing and e-payment partner. And now, the submission of our attachments to this submitted income tax returns. So, mayroon po tayong mga questions no? that we have. Actually, yung iba po sa mga questions ninyo, may mga sumasagot na po doon sa mga partners na ating mga guests. At the same time, meron na rin pong iba from BIR na sumasagot dyan. So, for purposes of uh, in the element of time, meron po tayong ilan na pinili dito para po naman ipasagot din natin if ever sa ilan sa atin pong mga uh, resource speaker. So, let me go over po yung ating mga questions. So, yung una po dito is uh, sa GCash po. Andiyan pa po si Ms. Charlene, yung pong GCash natin. Ms. Charlene, the question po, uh, can we use GCash? Ms. Charlene, okay na? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we use GCash not under the name of the payer or authorized representative? Um... Actually, ma'am, they can pay naman po as long as it's a GCash verified account. And then it, when they make the payment po kasi, what we get naman po or in our collection reports to BIR, we transmit the TIN. So the most important thing is that tama yung tax identification number na ilalagay nila sa transaction nila para they won't have any issues on correcting the TIN. Oo, nung kung sino yung ipagbabayad. Yes, no? ma'am. Mm -hmm. Under what account. Pero kung kanino nang galing yung bayad, pwede naman. Ang importante, yes. mm -hmm. yung, yung information about... Yung information. Okay. Yes, po, ma'am. Kung sino po yung ipinagbabayad nila. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's another one. Um, does Gcash and po uh, posting real time on returns, returns paid through GCash. Ang tanong siguro um, dito, pag nagbayad ba, nakikita mm -mm. na kagad sa BIR? No, ma'am. Eh. We commit po kasi within three business days. It's usually next day, especially on weekdays. Pero po kasi, um, if it's a transaction on the weekend, since we are dependent also on the processing hours of our partner bank, mm -hmm. um, it's within three business days yung SLA namin kay customer. Okay. So anyway, wag kayong matakot. Safe naman. Kaya makakarating naman yung bayad nyo. May konting traffic lang pag weekend. Apo, <laughs> ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Sherilyn. So Thank now, you, next question po natin is for, syempre, doon sa kapartner mo, kay Paymaya. Oh, si Ms. Sarah, nandiyan po ba? Ms. Sarah? Yes, ma'am. Nandito yeah, po. May tanong po. Is there a maximum amount or limit in the amount of to be for in their payment using Paymaya. Okay, ma'am. So, we have for a monthly aggregate transaction limit of 250,000, ma'am. Okay. So, paano kung ang pabayaran po ay mas mataas sa 250,000? Hindi na sila magbabayad kasi kulang yung limit. Um, actually, ma'am, pwede naman po, as mentioned ni Marvin last um, session, no? um, mm -hmm. he confirmed that uh, a taxpayer can use more than one Paymaya account to pay for, parang pwede po mag-partial payment until ma-pay in full yung tax due. Okay, so kunyari, 1 million yung babayaran, 250, 250, 250, 250. Kung meron po siyang kitalang apat na Paymaya account holders po. Uh, yes. Accounts. Okay, at a time. Hindi ba pwedeng ano yun, mag-request ng increase? Um, we can ano po, take it up on a case-to-case -case basis, ma'am. Ah, okay. So, pwede din naman. Kasi mahirap din naman siguro na apat na accounts, mamumutang pa ako ng account para lang makabayad. Baka pwede ng, you know, um, some taxpayers malaki binabayaran, lalo na yung mga nasa corporate world, di ba? So, right. maybe this is this is a good option also for them aside from the authorized agent bank that they have. Especially yung mga hindi naman po enrolled sa EFPS. Yes, ma'am. So, pwede din naman po mag-request for additional kiss-to-kiss -kiss basis. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Sarah. 
Thank you, Ms. Janet. Okay. Uh, Sister June, nandyan po ba from our DBP? Sir John of DBP, nandyan po ba kayo? May katanungan po, sir. Okay po. Okay. Sir John, um, ang tanong po, what credit cards ang pwede gamitin in paying through DBP e-payment portal? Sa ngayon po, Visa cards only. Uh, we're working on having MasterCard as soon as possible up na siya doon. But for now, it's Visa cards. All okay. both domestic and foreign issued na Visa cards, we're accepting that. Okay. Sir, bilis na may MasterCard. Kasi may nagtatanong na dito. Actually, may tanong din eh. Kung tumatanggap daw ba kayo ng MasterCard? Actually, before po, oo. Pero tinigil namin. We're just working on something. And then we'll, ano, we're working to have that up as soon as possible. Okay, sir. Maraming salamat po for that. Thank you. So, okay. Next, um, for Union Bank po, meron po tayong tanong. Ms. Nicole? Yes, po. Yeah. Question here is, what is the type of account to open if they offer no, uh, and if there is no maintaining balance and no fees? Uh, yes, I mentioned nga po kanina, uh, we have um, accounts um, in Union Bank Online that have no maintaining balances. Yung, I think there are a few po, no? but two I can recall uh, distinctly. One is yung personal savings account. Um, and yung pangalawa is a play everyday account. Yung play everyday po, um, ang difference niya dun sa una is may mga parang rewards program siya. So kunwari pag nag-transfer ka or pag uh, nag-tap ka ng debit card, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng points accumulation. Parang sa credit card din. Uh, so yun po both, both both have no annual uh, sorry both have no maintaining balance pero meron po tayong minimal na annual fee so may 350 pesos po um, per year yung sa uh, yung sa personal savings account tapos 500 pesos po per year yung sa play every day pero si play every day po meron po tayong promo na you already get 500 points so parang um, nag offset lang din po siya for the first year um, yun lang po, uh, the fee is really to shoulder kasi magkakaroon po ng pag-order pag, uh, ng card um, and minimal uh, servicing fee lang po siya for the whole year. So if you divide it into 12 months, nasa mga less than 50 pesos pa po siya per month. Um, tapos dahil libre naman po yung peso net uh, fund transfer namin, um, parang nag offset lang din siya kasi uh, yung ginagamit natin for bills payment, um, fund transfers, um, yung fee na yun, parang na convert lang siya into free um, unlimited um, transactions. Yun po. Okay, thank you po, Ms. Siko. Um, uh, last two questions sa lang po tayo because of yung time po natin, eh, malapit na pong mag-de-end, no? So, uh, la, second to the last question, Ms. Char, uh, Sharon po for Land Bank. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Ms. Sharon. Ang tanong po, do we need a land bank account to access the portal? As I have mentioned, ma'am, we have different payment options. If you are a land bank account holder, you can make use of your land bank account. If not, you can make use of BankNet member bank participating and PayGate participating member banks. We have on the presentation the 18 member banks for BankNet because not all BankNet member banks are participating for online payments. So there are only around 18 banks for BankNet and three banks for PayGate. And for LandBank, you can make use of any account with ATM PIN so that you can authorize your transaction from the LandBank LinkBiz portal. If your account has no PIN, then you can have it enrolled and make use of our electronic tax payment system. Yeah. So, so it's not necessary, ma'am, to have a land bank account, but we suggest that you open a land bank account with us. But in case you don't have one, then you can make use of other banks, Visa or the ATM or debit Visa card account. Yeah, so there are options. Claro yes, ma'am. Okay, Thank you very much, ma'am Janet. Thank you, Ms. Sharon. Okay, down to our last question na po. Uh, this question is very important to see clarification then. 
si Amel, uh, AJ, still there? Yes, ma'am. AJ, yeah, meron ditong tanong. Yes, uh, liwanagin nating mabuti. Sabi niya, can I use EAFS to file my ITR? Or I need to use EBIR or file manually? Okay, ma'am. Para po malinaw po tayo, ha? So, we have three facets in our filing process. We have our tax filing. We have our tax payment. And then, of course, the submission of the, retire, of the returns and the attachments. For online filing, we have EBIR forms and EFPS. Okay? For online filing of tax returns, we have EBIR forms and EFPS. For online payments naman po, they can do that if they're EFPS users through our AABs and, or our online payment partners. Now, the EAFS is for the online submission of duly filed ITRs, financial statements, and their attachments. So they need to file first either in manually through the banks or through our their offices, the ITR, and then pay any tax due their own and then yung pag-submit po nun, yung pinapatatakan nila every April 15, in this case, uh, June 14, they can use the EAFS instead. Again, the EAFS is only for duly filed ITRs. So, dapat na-file na nila using EBIR forms or EFPS. Or man. Also, yung ITR po, iba po yung venue for filing natin. Yun pong EAFS is para dun sa, sa naka-attach lamang doon sa inyong ITR. Okay, I think um, lahat po ng ating mga resources speakers ay natapos na po sa pagbibigay ng information and we're almost done with our webinar for this morning. So, um, first is uh, let me just go over our discussion, what transpired this morning. We will have our uh, uh, recap. No? and drilling. So first is, let me clarify the deadline for the filing of your ITRs and payment of any tax that may be due thereon is June 14. Kaya lamang po, June 14 falls Sunday po siya and as a matter of policy, when the deadline falls on a Saturday, a Sunday, or a holiday, kung saan wala pong pasok, automatically the following working day ang magiging deadline. In which case, ang deadline for filing and payment of taxes for your ITR for 2019 is June 15, 2020. Lunes po yan. Okay? Kinaklaro po natin. Pero pwede po mag-file mas maaga. Hindi naman po kailangan na lahat tayo ay sabay-sabay mag-file during deadline as the common practice. So we encourage fail, uh, file and pay early para po naman uh, hindi po tayo magkasabay-sabay kung saan man po tayo magkikita. Whether electronic ba yan or face-to-face -face po in the filing centers of PIR. June 15, 2020. Last day for filing of your 2019 ITR and payment of taxes that is due thereon. Okay, next. Uh, since we said that deadline, again, sa ngayong oras na to, wala po po tayong extension. Wala na po, kailangan na po natin mangolekta. Kailangan na mag-move on tayo. Bagamat new normal, kailangan na po natin mag-move ngayon. So, wag na po mga makukulit po dyan. Ang laging tanong, may extension ba? Abay, wag po yung extension ng abangan. Tignan po natin, mas maagang mag-file, mas maagang mas bayad, mas mainam po para sa ating lahat. So, no further extension. Wag makulit. Okay, next. Filing, of course, of your tax returns and payment of taxes. We have provided you with options. Una, manually, pwede po. May mga filing centers, bukas po ang mga RDOs natin, pwede po kayong doon mag-file manually. But we encourage that you use uh, EBIR or electronic filing. 
Pero yung mga nandun naman po enrolled sa EFPS, wala kayong choice. EFPS po talaga ang gagamitin ninyo. But for other taxpayers who are not filing or enrolled under EFPS, kailangan po gamitin po natin EBIR forms. Na-explain po kanina how to go about that particular um, filing or e-filing system of the BIR and the forms that you need to file accordingly. Kung ano po yung applicable base po sa inyong situation or sa inyong income. So, we also have, of course, authorized agent bank. Pwede pa rin po kayo magbaya dyan. Aside from that, we have our e-payment facilities which we discussed. Yung pong ating mga e-payment providers na nag-isa-isa po sa inyo kanina. And of course, the alternate uh, way by which you can do e-filing and e-payment through our ETSPs or electronic tax software providers. So all of these, pwede po ninyo silang ma-avail. Pinumili na lang po kayo. We're looking at always the convenience, fast way of complying, and of course, po, the safest way of complying with BIR requirements. Now, uh, for purposes of EFPS, I assume master na master na po ninyo yan how to um, access the BIR EFPS. Of course, all you have to do is access uh, the BIR website no? and andon po yung EFPS icon and you can proceed with the use of that particular system. Pwede rin naman po directly at http colon dober slash efps.bir.gov.ph po yung shortcut din natin. Then for non-EFPS, we encourage again, again, and again, EBIR forms facility po ang gagamitin natin, which of course you can likewise access by going through the BIR website. You download the EBIR package 7.6 po, yan ang latest version natin as discussed earlier. Or if you want, ayaw niyo pong dumaan sa BIR, meron din naman pong link na pwede ninyong uh, gamitin directly through https colon uh, double slash bibit.ly uh, slash BIR uh, forms. And lastly, uh, to those who have no means of filing and paying online, alam naman po natin, hindi naman po lahat ay may internet. Uh, sarado pa ang mga internet shops no? because of this COVID. So, kung hindi po nyo kaya mag-e-file, mag-e-pay, of course, um, meron po tayong manual way of doing it. And also, binigyan din po ng paraan para po mas madali sa inyo. You can file in the nearest RDO, you can pay in the nearest AABs, or you may uh, file and pay through our nearest revenue collection officer. So, hindi po natin titignan muna yung jurisdiction kung saan kayo registered because we want you to comply as soon as possible the most convenient and faster way of doing that particular compliance. So, ayan, binigay na po sa inyo ng BIR lahat ng tulong para makapag-comply po kayo sa filing ng inyong income tax return at bayad po ng taxes natin. So, hopefully, with that particular um, systems po, no, na processes and na binigay po sa inyo ng BIR, lahat po tayo ay magbabayad na ng tamang buwis. Again, yung pong pagbabayad ng tamang buwis ay hindi po yan um, isang obligasyon lamang dahil sabi ni BIR, it's more than that. It's our social obligation to help our country and our fellow men in terms of uh, paying our taxes, which of course provides for the funds for the mga different services being given by our government. Specifically, ngayon po, under the Bayanihan Act Hill as one, kailangan po natin ng pondo para po matulungan, magkaroon ng ayuda, yung po mga less fortunate po natin na mga kababayan, yung pong mga natanggal sa trabaho, at ikit po sa lahat, yung pong mga walang kakayahan po para po mga mabuhay ng uh, pang-araw-araw. No? Kailangan-kailangan po ng tulong nating lahat ng mga Pilipino. Bukod po doon sa inyong pagdodonate, alam ko yung iba, member ng mga kung anong asosasyon for donation, paying taxes is one way of helping our country. 
and ourselves. Kasi tayo din po, eventually, gumagamit din naman po tayo ng mga services ng ating government, like roads, and of course, we have public schools and public hospitals. So, I encourage everyone, do, do their e-filing through either through our EFPS and EBIR forms for those who will not be covered by EFPS. You may avail of the e-payment facilities of our authorized agent banks and e-payment portals of our partners, Land Bank, Union Bank, DBP, Paymaya, and Gcash. And of course, the assistance also of our ETSPs, one of which that are, uh, have been certified by BIR is one tax. So with that, I think I would like now to end our webinar by say, saying our appreciation, you know, appreciation to our partners. So in behalf of our, uh, the bossings, no, the management of BIR, our tax management, and the bossings in the BIR, we would like to thank the following for, for joining us and being part of this uh, webinar ng BIR. So special thanks to, of course, number one, our partner, OneTax. Sila po yung nagpahiram sa atin ng account ngayon sa Zoom. So maraming salamat. We have Union Bank, TBP, Paymaya, Gcash, and Land Bank. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng representatives nila na nagbigay po ng kaalaman tungkol po sa kung paano mag-avail ng e-payment facility ng uh, ating mga uh, taxpayers sa pagbabayad ng tax. We would also like to thank, um, of course, our uh, resource speakers. So, hindi mo makumpanya nila yan. But, of course, our resource speakers represented, who represented these particular companies. Maraming salamat po sa inyong oras. Maraming salamat sa pagbibigay ng liwanag sa ating mga taxpayers for them to comply with our filing of ITR and payment of taxes. Maraming salamat din po sa USAID, sa IPESO, for sponsoring and being a partner of the BIR in this tax campaign, in this payment campaign. Thank you very much, USAID and EPESO. At the same time, nagpapasalamat din po ako sa ating mga participants. Alam ko yung iba po nahirapan na pumasok, but yet you tried very hard. So, ang dami po natin naging mga participants ngayon dito sa webinar natin sa ating Zoom. At doon din po sa Facebook, no? yung po mga nag-join at nanood po sa live streaming sa Facebook. Maraming salamat, maraming salamat po. Uh, this particular session will be recorded and would eventually be uploaded to BIR uh, Facebook account and BIR YouTube account. So, kung gusto po ninyo i-review, meron kayong nakalimutan, o gusto lang po ninyong balikan kung ano man yung pinag-usapan, you may do so. Ipopost po natin yung recorded na webinar po natin for today. And then, um, meron po tayong mga questions na sinagot earlier, may sumasagot po. Yung pong mga hindi nasagot, Again, as I have said, i-compile po natin, sasagutin po at ipopost po natin under din po sa Q&A portion po ng ating uh, Facebook account ng BIR. So, uh, I think that would be all in so far as our webinar for today. Kung meron po kayong mga gusto pang malaman na ibang information sa BIR, do visit the, the different... Um, Accounts. So for BIR website, of course, we have www.bir.gov.ph uh, para po sa mga iba pang mga e-services ng BIR. You can also um, log into our Facebook account, https colon double slash www.facebook.com slash BIRGOV.ph Ang haba, no? Pero mas alam yung gawin yan pagka hawak nyo na po yung inyong mga uh, device. And then we also have our Twitter account, https colon double slash www.twitter.com slash BIRGOVPH. And of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube account, https colon double slash www.youtube.com slash plus BIRGOVPH. Yan, ang haba. Pero kayang-kaya niyo po i-access lahat yan. Alam ko lahat po ng mga nanonood ngayon, lalo na itong mga individuals na to ay high-tech na. And as you go high-tech, 
BIR wants to dance with you. BIR wants to be with you. So BIR goes digital. Maraming salamat po sa inyo muli. At ito po uh, si Janet Cruz nagsasabing, See you when I see you. At sana po, bayaran na po natin lahat ng ating mga taxes due this coming June 15. So June 15 is the day. Maraming salamat. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Ma'am Janet. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.